I am deeply disturbed and troubled by Officer Remington's actions. As a result, the department moved earlier today to terminate Officer Remington. A Tucson police officer is facing termination after a shocking shooting on the south side. Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Amanda Gomez. That shooting happened at the Lowe's on Valencia Road Monday night. Police say it all started when Richard Lee Richards was caught shoplifting at the nearby Walmart. And we do want to warn you, the video you're about to see here is very disturbing and might be hard for some people to watch. Police say an employee stopped him, the suspect, and asked him to show a receipt for the toolbox he had. Richards, who was in an electric wheelchair, then pulled a knife on that employee. Tucson police followed him to the nearby Lowe's where Officer Ryan Remington shot him nine times in the back and side when he refused to stop. At a news conference today, Police Chief Chris Magnus said officers tried to help Richards, but he died a short time later. He said Remington's use of deadly force was a clear violation of department policy and directly contradicts multiple aspects of the department's use of force training. Remington has been served with a notice of intent to terminate. And tonight, a family member of the man who was killed, Richard Lee Richards, is speaking out. News 4 Tucson's Angelique Lazardi is live at Tucson Police Headquarters with the details. Angelique. Well, earlier today I spoke with one family member who says they are shocked over what happened, but they also say that Richards has had a hard time staying out of trouble for years. I feel real strange about it. I, couldn't, I can't believe it happened. So, I don't know what to say. Family member Jim Wright says he was never really close to Richard Lee Richards, who was shot and killed Monday night on the southwest side for allegedly shoplifting. He tells News 4 Tucson Richards was always having run-ins with the law. He wasn't a very good guy. He was uh, in prison for a long time, and he got in trouble again, and he went back to prison. So he wasn't a real good guy. According to online records and confirmed by Richard's former attorney, Richard's was sentenced to 10 years in state prison back in 2007 on charges including attempted first degree murder, aggravated assault and resisting arrest. He was jailed again in 2019, charged with transportation of undocumented immigrants for profit in Nogales. Earlier this year, in federal court filings in connection with that case, Richard's attorney said that his client had severe physical problems developed while in custody and had hip replacement surgery, and because of that, his ability to move was limited to a wheelchair. Wright says regardless of Richard's past, he didn't deserve to have his life end this way. Well, heck no, he didn't deserve what happened to him. Not, not in the least. If he, pick, if he wanted to arrest him for shoplifting, he should have just done it. Now, Jim Wright also tells me that other family members have been notified over what happened. So, of course, make sure to stay with us here on News 4 Tucson regarding this developing story. We're live at Tucson Police Headquarters. Angelique Lazardi, News 4 Tucson.